that we are a credit to this society and that we are not out there for personal aggrandizement, that we want to join the biggest car, or we want to build the biggest house, or we want to do whatever. That is how we are perceived. And it is so far from the truth. The majority of politicians, despite whatever sides they are on, because there are no five or six political parties now, we are there to give representation to the people of our days. And that's why I want to nurture. As my days go by, I have believed by the hard work of the ministry where I was, and it was not hard in the sense that it could not be done. But there were so many intricacies that I felt it is my duty to let a younger person come in and understand the kind of work that they have to do to be able to say, I have been laboring in the vineyard to make sure that the poor people of Barbados are the most vulnerable, get that piece of the cake that they deserve. So when people look at the people in Parliament Ministry and Elder Affairs, that part alone to you distinguished pastors and priests and others here, faith-based personnel. That is the hardest part of that ministry right now. Because we have been able to get the free education over many years. We have been able to get the free health care or the option of choosing the free health care from the other. And therefore, we are living longer. So every day, we hear somebody in the 80s or the 90s of us of the centenarian but sadly, the morals and the values have not been passed on to some of the younger generation and they do not understand the critical role that their foreparents have played.